what do you have for breakfast there you go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, bacon, eggs, bacon, eggs. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Congratulations and another extension to stick with the Reds for, for another year beyond with your original group. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I love the Reds. Um, I'm really happy to continue on with them and uh, obviously keep on learning. And the fact that we're talking you, to you today too with Wallabies being in town, yeah. and that's, that's got to be encouraging if, if you were on their radar for a potential, um, potential call up. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Obviously, um, yeah, just trying to take as much learnings as possible, especially from all the experienced boys, um, and then uh, throw my hat in the ring um, where I can. What did you get from it today? Um, just uh, definitely learnt that it was a lot faster than uh, uh, club and super rugby. Yeah. A couple of good tight heads in the mix. They obviously you've got Nell out there. You've worked with Nogsy before. Who are the people that you lean on for an experience like this? Um, yeah, definitely the people in my position. Um, yeah, Zane Nongor, uh, especially having that TSS bond. Uh, just obviously asking um, stuff about scrums and all that stuff to do with our position and uh, just coming up through the ranks also, like what, it's like for, what was it like for him? And Matt, this time last year you hadn't had a Reds cap, like it's been a bit of a crazy year, you go through, you play Saitama, you don't get a super crack but you play Wales and Tonga, did you expect to be sort of in this position with the Wallabies hub at this point? Oh, look it was on my radar but um, I wasn't expecting anything, like I didn't feel like oh, I need to make this. But, um, yeah, obviously putting as much work in as possible and, um, yeah, obviously keep on going. Who are the coaches that you've been working with closest? Did you get a chance to chat with Mike Cron around your scrum stuff? I know it's early doors. Yeah, um, yeah, I talked with uh, Mike Cron beforehand and um, just talking scrum-wise. He's watched a couple of videos of mine, like teaching me a couple of little techniques, um, tweaking a couple um, things, yeah. And with the uh, deal as well, so so often we see one-year deals. You've gone with the two to stay here until in 2026. Yep. Um, so has a plan been mapped out for you in how your progression is going to go over these next two years? Um, no, nah, there's been no plan, but uh, like as Super Rugby, you just you constantly learn. Um, new things come in, new plays, all that. Um, and you just take it one step at a time. Is a, well, I guess, round two for the Reds birth very much the main thing on your radar here? Um, well, I've got to get through this first, but um, yeah, pre well, we got to Japan and then uh, obviously Europe and then um, yeah, Super Rugby after that. Has Joe had a chat with you about expectations or anything in here? No, nah, nah, no expectations whatsoever. Uh, obviously, I'm going to try my best, but uh, that's up to him to decide. How do you feel um, about your progression? Because you're not too far out of juniors, are you? Um, yeah, oh, I'm happy with my progression. Obviously, you can always want more or less, but um, yeah, just do as much work as possible. Yeah. You've always been uh, in the uh, front row? Uh, yeah, <laughs> always been a big kid. <laughs> just yeah. on that, Massimo, where did that come from? Uh, it's from, oh, it's Italian. Yeah, uh, I think it means uh, maximum or, yeah, maximum power or something like that. Yeah. You'd take that every day, would you? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, not too many people know what it means, but yeah. yeah. Physicality when you're out there with um, the guys training, you know, the best in Australia. Yeah. Um, what's that like? How does that feel? Oh, obviously it depends on the uh, training level. Um, but yeah, when it's full on, it's full on. Like they are big boys, so um, yeah. But the, the, the injury this year, like you know, that could have easily derailed you, couldn't it? Like you might hit your head and everything like that. Yeah, well, the injury, obviously you don't plan for an injury. Nice. But um, yeah, obviously talking to the boys. They cheer you up and all that, and then um, just coaches are telling you to move on to the next thing. What, like, what can you do now instead of uh, like dwelling on the moment? Um, yeah. The fact as well that um, you know a lot earlier was talked about how you broke all those bench records in all of Queensland rugby to knock off someone like Carl Webb, who was a legend in rugby league. Like, do you ever watch much league or watch much of him at all? No, nah, I'm not a big league watcher. Um, but yeah, I was, I was happy with the bench press record. Yeah. Got more in you? Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not too sure at the moment. How, how, do, you, how, do, you, how do you prep for something like that? Uh, well, obviously I, was, I had the injury at the time, so I was doing bench like four times a week, um, and it just, yeah, shot up. But yeah. Bacon eggs every morning for breakfast. Yeah, bacon eggs every morning, <laughs> eat your food. What's your favorite Italian dish? Uh, pasta, definitely, carbonara pasta. Matt, it's not just um, you as a Reds rookie in this mix as well, like Joey Brower, John Bryant. There's a lot of good, uncapped Reds boys who are in that mix, especially in the forwards. Um, 
pretty good signs as a unit for what's coming here at Ballymore too. Yeah, the future looks bright. Um, yeah, obviously all the boys will be trying to gain as much knowledge as they can and yeah, bring it back to the Reds. I mean, just, just back to the, the, that bench in that day, like when it happened, what was the one was the feeling that the boys, you know, since then, have they been, you know, what was the reaction like? Oh, well, you saw in the video, all the boys were getting around me and I was obviously happy about it. Coaches and all that were happy about it, but um, yeah, obviously you got to, like, you can't just go out there and bench press. Like, you have to transfer it to the field. Um, and scrums and all that. Like you can't just lift big numbers and then expect to win out there. Well, that's the thing. It's technique, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's precision. Definitely. And power. Right? Yeah. Yeah. In your lifetime, you've never seen a, a Reddit player retreat, <laughs> a series retreat. Yeah. Um, how does that sit with you coming through? Oh, look. Well, uh, one man can't change it, but um, it would be good to see a win eventually. Um, uh, yeah.